An API without documentation is useless. Nobody will use it. So in this video, you learn how to generate Swagger documentation for your Next.js API. You also learn how to generate the open API specification required by Swagger. In simple terms, the Open API specification is a document describing the structure of a REST API and how to interact with it. It contains information such as the available endpoints and their associated HTTP method, a description of those endpoints, the optional and required parameters, the authentication methods, and lastly, the responses. On the other hand, the Swagger documentation or Swagger UI on its real name is part of a suite of open source tools designed to interact with the Open API specification. Swagger UI generates an interactive web interface, which is the documentation for the provided API, and it uses the Open API specification to generate it. The first step before generating the Swagger documentation is to generate the Open API specification. And it's important to mention that this video shows a Next.js API built with TS REST. With TS REST, you can easily generate an open API specification as follows. TS REST provides the generate open API function, and you only need to provide your API contract and some information about your API, things such as the title of your API, the version, and a short description. The API contract describes the API structure, request and response formats, and how to authenticate your API calls, among others. For more information about API contracts, watch this video. Now that you have the open API specification, you can create an API route to return it in the JSON format. The following code shows you how to do it using the pages router in Next.js but you can adapt the code to work with the app router as well. In this code snippet, we import the open API generated previously, and then we create an API handler that returns it. Considering that you place the code in pages API v1 openapi.json.ts file, you should be able to access the open API specification at slash API slash v1 slash openapi.json. However, the output is quite difficult to read, so let's see how you can generate a proper interactive documentation with Swagger UI. To generate the documentation, you need to install a new package in your Next.js project. The package is Swagger UI React. After installing the package, you need to create a new API route to display the Swagger documentation. You can do that by placing your code in the app slash api slash v1 slash open api slash page tsx and placing this code inside the file. The swagger component takes the open api specification as a prop and then generates the documentation from the contract. If you access localhost 3000 or whatever your url is slash api slash v1 slash open api you should see the auto-generated API documentation. You can interact with the documentation by clicking on any endpoint. Doing it opens a new section where you can see more information such as parameters and responses. It even allows you to make requests. So the auto-generated documentation is helpful for the API users who want to explore and interact with the API before implementing it in their apps. And before closing, I want to mention that the code is extracted from the Documento project, which uses both the pages and app routers for the APIs. Feel free to adjust the code so it works with your code. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think in the comments. Until the next one.